Welcome back to another video of World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore, where we're going to continue on with a rogue that is south found and also no griefing allowed. Anyway, let's play. So we are now in Darnassus. Going to hand in a quest here. We're also going to check if we can do some of our professions, get our inventory a little bit less because it's, it's quite full. Let's be honest here. If we can lower this inventory, that would be great. Deposit the following items into the bank. Glyph of Azora. Peace be with you. Okay. And what about this meat though? Boar ribs. Boar ribs. I'll take those. Thank you. Train your class. Let's have a look what we can train. Um, we can get Sentence to Strike 4. So that is enough for us to go train. So we will for sure go train. Level 24, we get Eviscerate rank 4, which is going to be great. And uh, we also get Vanish now. Distract is also really good. Um, distract, you can make people stop moving, by the way. We can also easily get a backstab in. So I wonder if we should just change our... Huh. I wonder if we should change our way of doing stuff. We can use Garrett as our as our entry of combo. We can use stealth. This will be a lot of like Greetings, young rogue. What do you seek? A lot of like uh changes that we're gonna make here. So we'll train Rapture and uh No no, it was Garrett, man. Garrett Garrett to Sinister Strike and Vanish and Distract. Dude, that's a lot of money gone. Goddess, watch over you. That's a lot of money down the drain. But we are I don't I don't think we are that much stronger, but I mean Garrett. So let's just read what it does. Garrett, the enemy causing 204 damage over 18 seconds. It's actually pretty bad, bro. 200 damage over 18 seconds. It costs 50 energy. You don't take 18 seconds to kill an enemy, so you're not going to get the value out of that. It's it's overkill. And because of that, it's overusing your energy uh, for power. So we're still not going to go invas to kill. By the way, people saying that cheap shot is not worth it because you spend 50 energy for no damage. Just keep in mind, you stun for four seconds and you don't have to be behind someone. I see. We share the same passion. So it's it's kind of it's kind of worth it. Okay, so give me a second. Let me just do my professions. I'll do some cooking. I'll do some uh, leatherworking stuff, and then we'll continue on. Oh, we can actually craft these pants now. Plus eight agility pants. That is absolutely ridiculous. May the stars guide. Can I assist you? Yes. Give me the gray dye. Dude, that's bracers. Requires level 27. <clears throat> 155 tailoring. Oh, sorry, leatherworking. <laughs> that is uh, crazy, dude. That is insane. Okay, so... And find a thread. We're gonna craft these panties. For sure. Plus 8 agility. I mean, these pants we have right now is also really strong. 
But agility is better than strength. Strength is just uh, attack power. Where agility is hit rate, crit rate, armor. It's it's everything. And then I also made five of this, so we'll give some armor to the pants. To so increase our armor, this just means that we'll take way less damage from auto attacks. If we do get struck, obviously. It's not anything else, right? It's chest, legs, hands, feet. Only those four, yeah. How may I help? Get that out of our inventory. Be careful. All right, so I think we're done now. We're done training. We spent quite a lot of money here getting that uh, skinning up as well. Quite expensive. But now I just want to put these things in the bank. We have three items here. Uh, strider meat. I don't know whenever we could use that in cooking. Maybe never, but we'll just... Uh, put it away for now. I should have sold the pants. So I'll put these three away. I should have made that also. Yeah, that's okay. We'll go get more. I'm listening. Should be fine. All right. So now we can continue on. Turn in and accept the next quest. Doesn't look like it's here. In the nor Wait, is it that one? Well, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll just go there. We'll go hand this in. It's another quest to hand in, so we'll just go hand this in. Now it shows it's there. Goodness, dude. So I assume it's upstairs again. And by the way, our first aid is now high enough to go to... I, I don't know where. I played on Horde, so... I think on Horde it's like... It's like... Uh, here? Arathi Highlands? I think it's there. Where Horde uh, get their... Later working... For, uh, sorry, their uh, first aid upgraded. I, I honestly don't think it's going to be the same place that Alliance do it. Bro, where is this hand in point, dude? Okay, give me a minute. Let me try and find this. You found it. It's just on the outside. A random dwarf standing here. Why, why are you in the Narcissus, dude? You go oh my! Leave it to Prospector M Travel to discover such a find. That is a pretty big upgrade. Five hundred percent. Oh my goodness! Three strength, three agile. It's a four percent only upgrade, though. I'll take this belt. We get strength at least from it. Where current belt just gives us intel. There's a striking resemblance to one I once saw in Ironforge. An archaeologist by the name of Flagongut brought it to our annual Explorers League conference. He believed the fossil had a power which could be unlocked somehow. Last I heard, Flagongut had holed up in the deep water tavern in Menethil Harbour, awaiting escort to the Welgar excavation site. Seek him out and show him Rem Travel's fossil. Perhaps he can reveal the secrets of the past. The ship to Menethil departs from Oberdeen. 
Okay. Uh, wait. Four. Four. So, there's a problem here now. Um, I see that the food that we got for free, uh, the trick-or-treat event is gone. So, we have one apple left. We have one apple left and we'll have to start using our own food that we cook. So our cooking is now 127. So there, that's our first aid. Our cooking is now 134. Our leather working is now 116. But uh, leather working goes up quite a lot slower. We'll just wave hello. bear meat skin as much as we can. There's some juicy, juicy gear starting to appear, so if we want to get stronger and get our cooking higher, we might as well, you know, spend some time. Medium. like the bear can parry but we we struggle to parry it for some reason least uh, you can't just you can't just get the loot if a guard kills something while you were attacking it you need to do at least 50% of the damage. Otherwise, the guard contributes out to getting it. Exactly. Um... 
my goodness. Are you kidding me now? Oh no. Yo, finally, we disarmed the bear. Does it mean we cut off his paw for like... There we go, did it again. Did we cut off their paw? For a few seconds and just say, hey, hey, here's your pullback. Or don't you think it works like that? Not getting much meat from these bears. Yeah, let's head to our quest. See what we gotta do here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Are we gonna go this way now? It looks like it. Oh. We're getting close to Wailing Caverns now. Well, don't mind if I do. The icon looks the same as scrap, but like it's so much more worth it. Why? Why do I have the auction house value of that? I never scanned the auction house. I only put in stuff that I regularly sell with my other character. It's kind of weird. Sorry, that's a mosquito flying around here. Hopefully I got it, because I'm not sure. Uh, we get venom sacks, we need 12. So the venom sacks, we... We don't get it from the spiders, that's so weird. And I've never run, <coughs> never ran from that side to this side. It's always the other way around for me. Because I played Horde, right? Goodness, these trees, dude.
Wait, 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 wait. Should we poke the eggs? Let me go, goodness. Looks like we don't poke the eggs. Just follow the arrow, buddy. Let's see what we gotta do. Looks like we're gonna go up here later. It's also where the Alliance camp is. Doom, 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 doom. Man, there was so much PvP here when I played uh, Seasonal Discovery. This was the PvP zone, yo. This place became its own, like, little battleground where lions always win because they are so much more than the horde. Doom, 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 doom. Looks like we're going to come back here later. So we collect same... Uh, we, co we collect quests from the same NPC. Got another player here. Hey, we see our first horde, bro. A troll mage. It's gonna web us, right? Nah, yeah. So the hoarding cabin is here. The alignment uh, alliance cabin is all the way up there. Doom, 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 doom. I think our gameplay of this is actually pretty good so far. I don't think we're lingering. I think we're living up decently fast. Ah, you've come from Ashenvale at the behest of Tara. How I miss her, my homeland and friends. She must be doing well with the Sentinels to be sequestering adventurers for other tasks. I'm proud of her. It is a pleasure to meet you, adventurer. The situation here in Stone Talon is obviously grave for a night elf and gnome to be working together. The Venture Company has devastated these lands, and I've spent most of my time putting an end to the destruction. Do not judge Gaxim prematurely. He understands the need for us to work together. If you wish to aid us, then start by speaking to Gexim. I'm sorry I cannot send you back to Tara with good news yet. Perhaps soon. 
Treacherous! Treacherous and dangerous! That's what this land is! But I'm here to show the Night Elves that it's a little safer with the help of good old engineering and a dash of magic. See, swearing off magic completely won't help the Night Elves. They need it! The world needs it! And with engineering and alchemy to boot, you can't go wrong. The possibilities are endless! You see, adventurer, I'm a member of the Enlightened Assembly of Arcanology, Alchemy, and Engineering Sciences, and it's my goal, nay, my duty, to show the Night Elves that a blend of magic mixtures and mechanisms can help save their forests. But it's a hard-fought war, and the goblins reproduce like rabbits, it seems. I haven't even had time to build my newest inventions. I need some time to plan and organize, but to do that, I need your help keeping the goblins at bay in Windshear Crag to the east. Terrible what the Venture Company has done here, eh? What were they thinking? Goblin Company hiring a gnome. Lucky for me, Sputter Valve knows a genius when he sees one. Hired me just after I'd been kicked out. Tells me they built some enormous woodcutting machine. And Sput wants me to steal the plans for him. Unfortunately, Garenzo, bloody gnome, wants me dead on sight. Maybe you could steal the plans for me. You should be able to find them on one of their operators. I spank you. Fireball. None of that, buddy. Stop it. All you gotta do is accept my dagger, and your life will be over. You know what I'm saying? It's okay, my dagger is my offhand, so don't worry. I won't hurt too much. What did we get there? Nothing. Fireball. So I think later these things will lose their value. Where's the agility one there? Get this stuff off, like out of our inventory. I mean, plus four, plus five, like it's good for now, but like at level 30, what is plus five, right? It's gonna be so little. So the earlier you use it, the more value I feel like you get out of it. You can say, hey, dude, you're doing green quests. Like, why use it? But mm. I think it's still more valuable now.
Next. Did your mama teach you not to throw stuff? You could hurt yourself, dude. the skull icon. Found you, buddy. C9 is a quest letter. Or the XT9. Skulls all the way out there. Another one. Thousand two hundred HP, I think. Or is it mana? I think it's mana. Oh, wrong button. I meant to kick. I wanted to kick. <gasps> what do we get? Ah, oh, man. Oh man. We could just uh we could just use it. How is it three percent better? Because it's slower. Are you kidding me? Does the same DPS, bro. Buddy, let me whoop your ways. Open the can of whoop ass. Uh. Ha. Her. <laughs> That's some orc music, dude.
Now how would we get to that guy? How would one get to it? I mean, uh, bring bring your friends with if you want, but just just, jeez, how many? Just one extra. It's two extra. Okay, we um we got vanished now, but we need to buy flash powder. So we can't really just use it yet. But soon. It's gonna be great. So we're looking for a super reaper 6000 blueprints. It's a chance to drop though. Apparently it's hard to get it, I guess. So let's go. Hey, give me those blueprints. Thank you, bro. How kind of you. Actually... A level 25 rare, a 24 rare. Why is the thing not picking it up? I want to see the loot. Oh, it's marked with square. Uh, should we do it? Should we do it? Let's do it. Level two, what level? Level 24 rare. Let's do it, bro. 2000 HP. We instantly disarm. Yeah. 
Need to get out of here. We missed. Okay. Dude, you almost one shot me. Think about the loot. I I can see the loot. Not a single leather piece. But loot. Dude, it's worthless. The loot is actually dropping as worthless. I mean, but loot is why I tried to go for it in the first place. And but loot is why I realized it's just loot. And I have a full inventory. Anyway. Time. Hey, is that what I think it is? Great. Now, let's see. Uh, how am I supposed to understand this stuff? Can't figure out the way gnomes think. Let me tell you. I'm surprised they could build the wheel, let alone those flying machines they like so much. This envelope has all the information I was able to snatch as they booted me out the door. Venture company internal documents, some manuals, technical things. Oh, and of course, the Super Reaper 6000 blueprints. Sputter Valve has taken up residence at Ratchet in the Barrens. Shouldn't have much trouble finding him, he's a little green fellow. Yeah, that bo that boss, I would call it. That's an undead. That uh, that rare. Like, if if you think about just farming for loot, like I think it's still better to just go dungeon, right? It's safer than I think doing rares and elites. Thanks so much for your help, adventurer. You're actually back just in time. I think I've got a perfect plan. Explosives. No, that's not the plan, but it's part of the plan. See, I've been using high explosives. Don't worry, they're not as dangerous as everyone thinks to scare the goblins back a bit. I can hurt them pretty good with a few key detonations along the mountain's edges, but I've been low on supplies now for a few days. The device I'm thinking about is my most advanced version to date, but we'll need a special potion if it's to work. I'm thinking we might as well get the good stuff since this mission could be your last. And for that, we're going to need some potent explosives, nitromerglyceronium. The only person who can make NG5 is an old friend of mine, Lomac Gearstrip. Look for him in Tinkertown. You talk him into making us some NG5, I'll get to work on placement for my devices. 
Okay, now for the remote detonation part of my plan. Oh, I haven't explained that yet, have I? Okay, so the short of it is this. With a little magic, I can make it so the explosives go off while you're not around. I'm putting together a device that'll allow you to push just one button and have the NG5 explode when you're ready. But I need a spell from a friend in Stormwind. Colin Morin is his name. You can find him in the Mage Quarter there. He's human, so he shouldn't be hard to miss. Okay, Rampal's the Horde uh, area. No guard attacked us so far, so that's great. Our quest log is full again. Typical, typical. Typical indeed. No, no, don't, uh, don't do it. He's doing it. Stop doing it. Dude, he's killing so many of them. Light leather still? This thing is level 22. I'm getting light leather. At least one. It should be at least three light leather. Ten. The square is going to be great for us for skinning also. What the heck, man? Let's eat a final apple. Get some food buff, I guess. While well, we heal our health also. It's gonna be great. Also what that little gnome said, this might be your last quest. Like, if you think about it, if you're playing a hardcore, that could be true, you know? This could be your last quest. Dude. Come here.
it's just first aid. Yeah, there's no way I could have killed that rare dude. Like, no way. Slap my life to pieces. That would be my last quest. Suffocation. No breathing. And would I go again? I'm not too sure. It depends on how good the series did. Poison. Yeah, it interrupts. That's why I thought. Her. Ha. Yes. Orcs is singing for us. five combo pointing this it's almost a hundred damage without crit that's that's pretty good I would say it's a 30 second poison by the way, hunters can't tame these beasts. But in Season of Discovery, they added that you can. I don't know if... Like, I don't think this was your best pet, right? I think it still... was a scorpion at this point.
Okay, don't get in combat now. We're poisoned. I think I just eat through the poison. You gone first, I threw it. The one thing we can say though, the music of this game is actually pretty good. Okay, it's still six combo points. Wow. This one almost had seven. That's a bit crazy, man. I just feel like I'm getting my ass handed to me. Halfway there. I mean, a number is value, sure. But I think uh, level 50 is closer to halfway when you think about time. Time it takes from... Level 1 to 60, what is halfway? It's around level 50-ish, I would say. Maybe even higher. Like, actual playtime value. Don't think so. More like 40? I don't think so. Who's winning my spurt or the poison? Okay, spurt is winning. I feel like we don't parry dudes enough that is around our level.
get these scrolls out of our inventory. on that beach. When are we gonna get decent poison on our weapon, dude? Cheap shots 26. Crippling poison. Instant poison at 28. Still far away. This is a nice farm, dude. We got so much leather out of this. Enemies is a little bit tough, right? We can kill like two and then we have to eat or first aid. But other than that, it's it's okay. I feel like since we used our armor and stuff, it feels like we're a lot tankier. Which is great. My food is done, so once I get there, I'll just pause the recording and go eat quickly. Bum bum be dum bum bum ba rum bum. Still getting linen cloth. Soon we'll stop getting it though. Hopefully. Hopefully. We're also about to like level up. We're really close. And we still take precision, increasing our hit chance even more. It's like even now it still feels like the dodge, the miss, the parries, like those numbers a little bit too much sometimes, I think.
Level 24 cat. Huh. Alrighty then. Oh, okay. Where would you like to fly to? Apparently we're going to Ashenvale. And then fly to Orbandine. So we're gonna hand in a quest here and then fly. Alright then guys, I'm gonna go eat quickly. My food is ready. So I will catch you once I'm done eating. A second. You won't even know that I was gone. Alright, we finally landed and I went to eat. Ate two little pizzas with two little pies. Thank you, adventurer. It saddens me to order the slaughter of creatures who may not willingly aid our enemies, yet it is my duty to do so. Your heart might weep for the pride wings you slew, my friend, but may your heart then swell in knowing that your allies are safe from the pride wings' venom. Okay, so it looks like we're catching the other boat again. On the left side here. So we can maybe do some first aid while we wait. Going back to the human area, I, I think. Fly to Orbandine. So we're first going to the dwarf area. I think we're going to the human area though, I'm not too sure. The guy doesn't show because it, it's a new guy that will start soon. Um, we're at step 49 of this one. And the boat arrived. Goodness, this guy is full of enchantments, dude. Huh? This guy has no salve found, not even slightly. He's like, no, this is my third uh, level 60. I make him strong. Or he's just a streamer that uh, people just give him gold. That could also be a thing. <laughs> hey, we're finally here. <coughs> Goodness. Okay, I guess we're gonna check if we can buy some stuff here again. I'm James Halloran, the Tanner. My cured crocolisk skins are sought after all over. Shipments leaving by boat to ports around the world. Met Einar? He's one of the hunters that brings crocolisk skins in for me. I'm a bit short on the softer skins that come off crocolisk young. Being that I'm running low, I'll pay you top coin for a stack of the skins. You can find the young crocs in the marshes, right outside of town. Murlocs are crawling out from the deep waters and building their villages on the coastline. They are harassing our fishers and merchants and must be stopped. One of these murlocs, Gobbler, skulks with other bluegill murlocs and Harry's merchants along the road, always then retreating to the safety of the nearby murloc hovels. Our merchants are in jeopardy and we will pay to secure them. Gobbler prowls the river inlet north of here. Find him, slay his kin and bring me his head. I was once first mate on the Wave Mistress, ship of the line in the Cool Tiras Third Fleet, the Doomed Fleet. Doomed, for on its last voyage the fleet was attacked by red dragons, dragons controlled by orcs. We didn't stand a chance against that dragonfire, and our fleet was burned and sunk off this here coast. I'm the sole survivor of those poor vessels. My head hammers and pounds. I'll need a fresh drink if I'm to get a handle on this hangover and continue my tale. Bro, 
What is wrong with this guide? Like, honestly, it accepts like all the quests, but you never have a... Can't I just accept this one later? Like, look at this. It's two quests from this guy. What can I do? Fill your tankard and pull up a chair. We've stories to tell and kegs to empty. Fill your tankard and pull up a chair. We've stories to tell and kegs to empty. See you soon. Wait, did I buy the wrong one? Fill your tankard and pull up a chair. We've stories to tell and kegs to empty. I did buy. <laughs> Watch your back. Turn in quest, you see. This is just fun, dude. We're just having fun, dude. Give me a second. What can I? I was once first made on the Wave Mistress, ship of the line in the Cool Tiras Third Fleet, the Doomed Fleet. Doomed, for on its last voyage, the fleet was attacked by red dragons, dragons controlled by orcs. We didn't stand a chance against that dragon fire, and our fleet was burned and sunk off this here coast. I'm the sole survivor of those poor vessels. I'll need a fresh drink if I'm to get a handle on this hangover and continue my tale. Ah, that hits the spot and loosens the tongue. Thanks, mate. I'm the sole survivor of the ill-fated third fleet of Kul Tiras, wrecked off the coast to the north. But although I'm the only member of the fleet still breathing, I'm not the only one still walking about. For on one of our ships was hidden a great and terrible treasure, and the eerie power of it keeps the souls of my brothers trapped within the ship's rotting hulls. But if you can free some of my brothers, then perhaps you can break their curse. Oh my, you say this came from the distant lands of Kalimdor? Amazing, simply amazing! Prospector Welgar now holds the original fossil at his site in the wetlands. When I discovered the Stone of Relu, I believed it to be the key to unlocking the mystery of the fossil. While I travelled on the road to meet Welgar, I was attacked by raptors and the relic was lost. I don't know which one of the mottled beasts swallowed the relic, but if you can retrieve it, I can unleash the power of these artifacts. Bring me both the stone of Relu and the original fossil he holds. This is so not worth it, dude. I'll buy one. Have a good one. How are you? Not good. Safe travels. You get a half a gold back if you sell it, so I guess it's worth, dude. I, I'm not too sure. The guy is asking when does warriors stop sucking. My opinion is that warriors most probably suck always. <laughs> they are only strong in groups. So if you just, uh, like if you want to make it as easy as possible, just do dungeons, right? Just spam dungeons. 
That is that is my opinion. Like I would say the same thing for like healers, uh, but they don't have nearly as much issues than warriors have. Warriors, warriors is like cookie cutter, borderline, extremely hard, I would say. And they, they extremely suck at like level 10. And then from then on forward, just always. There we go, we just leveled up. It's good stuff, good stuff. those guys Slap it like it's hot. Wonder if there's an add-on that will auto open up these these clams. We're still getting Murloc eyes. If leveling warrior and protection is a lot easier. I will take that to agility, thank you.
Like we're killing pretty fast. Why can't I click on that? We don't need these, like it's kind of weird. We need to find someone's head. There we go, we found it. Come on, let me arm this army, bro. Need to get crocodile skin. Level 25. So these don't give crocodile skin? What the heck? That one does. Very specific crockies, I guess. Oh my goodness, where are you going, dude?
Buy a bronze tube. Looks like it doesn't have one. You have a great day now. I I sold my bronze tube, right? I had one. Level twenty five. World buffs dropping now, but I feel like it's a little bit broken. I mean, I, I, I honestly don't feel like saying no to making the game easier. But at the end of the day, like, it becomes so easy that I think it's... I think the world buff is too strong, if that makes sense. It's a bit too much. Where it takes me, like, 15 seconds to kill enemies. With the world buff, it becomes, like, like half of that, 5 seconds. It is way too strong. babies still the still getting light leather what a waste Final one. Accept another quest. Okay, we have one more space, dude. Oof, dude. I don't know how this guide was written, accepting all those quests. Don't suppose you might be heading in the direction of Menethil, would you? If you're not, I'd suggest you stop there. It's a good place to purchase goods and even have a pint and relax. Now, if it just so happens that you're heading in that direction, 
I don't suppose you'd mind taking this bundle of crocolisk skins to James Halloran, the tanner. I'd do it myself, but my wife's been in quite a mood lately, and I'd like to put off facing her as long as possible. Stop running away, bro. Okay, we have another hand in quest here. And I guess we're going to grab a new one. <laughs> Our quest looks full. Let me do some research of those. Yeah, I'm I'm really 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 str uh, struggling right now. I'm gonna just hoth back to the city. Um, we have two hand in quests. We'll just hand them in. This is just this is just getting ridiculous, bro. Honestly. Ah, well done, adventurer. Ex and it accepts another quest. For fulfillment of your contract with the merchant marines. Not long ago, a merchant vessel, the Blind Princess, was raided by murlocs. Although the ship escaped intact, much of its cargo was dragged overboard by the creatures, including a very valuable statuette of Tarinus Menethil. We want that statuette recovered. Search the coastal murloc hovels for crates, barrels, and other evidence of lost cargo. Find the Menethil statuette and return it to me. We're looking for a reclaiming goods. What can I do for you? Nice work you've done here, adventurer. The quality of these skins is superb. I'll have to get them into the curing process as soon as possible. Oh, but before I get to that, there's some other work I need done that I think you might be able to take care of. I sent my apprentice out into the marshes to skin some of our famous giant wetlands crocolisk. When he didn't return, I went out to look for him. Let's just say it wasn't a pretty sight. Midwife says he might pull through, but in the meantime, I still need my skins. If you'd like to kill a few more of the brutes, I wouldn't be opposed after what they did. You'll find the crocs north up the coast, beyond the murloc hovels. Hmm, this is from Einar, right? Hasn't delivered his skins to me in person for almost a week now. No doubt it's some differences with the wife. Maybe I'll have my wife go speak with Sita sometime. You've heard of the Green Warden? You're not looking for him, are you? Well, I say you're crazy if you are, but who am I to keep a fool from her death? If you are seeking that beast, then I hear he is in the marsh, east of the road where it forks to Dunmoder. He's lurking there among the croc, and worse. And leave your money here. You won't need it where you're going, and you don't want to chip old Greeny's tooth on your gold when he bites you in half, do you? Hey, good. I'll buy that. It's a sword. Two point nine point six. What can I get for you today? Uh, okay, so I don't know, like, this is not going to fix anything, by the way. This is not resolving our issue. Oh, 
I'll go check if there's a bronze tube again, but we'll have to run back to where we just were. All the way up there. But this time our quest log won't be that full. I assume. Good day to you. See you around. No bronze tube. Okay, I'll get you guys once we're there. Before I hearthstoned. Okay, we made it all the way back here. Now we have a hand in quest, which we didn't have before as well. Uh, kill the gnolls. I also escorted a level 10 all the way from from base up until the crossroads. It should be around here somewhere. Reskinning, baby. I'm not going to say no. Want to sell this. Requires level 21. That's a pretty insane dagger. 1.8, it's it's a weird one, right? You gotta be kidding me. How many times do we get parried there, dude? Jeez, what the? I need to go even lower. Twenty-four. This is pretty weird. Okay, looks like we can farm here. Yeah, there we go. So we need to level up this uh, the sword now. What is that?
and another one. So I don't think it's us turning them to like green, right? Like I, I honestly don't think so. Ooh. Cloth shoes. Even though he's deal wield and hits like a rogue, he's dropping cloth shoes. Oh god. He's a little bit close. Yeah, he's a little bit close. like we miss more often. It's an ability they do, I guess. Kick 20 mana debuff, <laughs> spur reduced by six. Blink, 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 blink. We're like playing uh, music, dude. As an intel buff, I didn't even see that happen. Come back here to farm, I guess. No.
feel like I need to make a macro for Eviscerate as well. To use uh, Repost. Yeah, let me do that quickly. Okay, let's hope it works. This guy has poison on his weapons. Where are they running to, bro? It's like they don't want to die. It makes sense, but still. Right? Okay, there it works. As I was tapping the eviscerate and we eventually disarmed. So now we know that macro works also. That's pretty good. So we, whenever we get a... Ooh... Wolfhand upgrade. Dude, I think it's a main hand upgrade. Isn't this the way to go? Ah, okay. Now I see why it's... Okay. The sword we bought can't be an offhand. What the heck, dude? We keep getting stronger. Look at me muscles.
are getting stronger. Look at me muscles. No one's gonna stand against me. Okay, just give me 10 minutes so we can actually run there. Or I can actually greet you guys once we're back there. Let's do that. We are here. Okay, looks like now we're just traveling back. And we're gonna fly to Ironforge. Goodness. Loads of running right now, dude. I would, I would even think it's cheaper from Ironforge, not just that, but running all the way back to the harbor and then fly. It would be cheaper to go here and I, it would be faster to fly from here to Ironforge, right? So, in my opinion, it would have been better to just run down after the quest is done. Since the game likes it anyway not to hand in quests. I wouldn't, get, I wouldn't say game, right? It's the, the add-on. We're not flying to Lakmadan. Where's our hand in quest here? Take the smelting powder and explosive to Don Don Mortar. Isn't it at the bottom here? And your claw spells. Have our sprint up once more. Okay, I'll catch you guys in the city. Okay, so I guess we're just flying away from here. Where would you like to fly to? Away from here, girl. I mean, Iron Forge. Okay, chill. Bro, the flying is actually very close. I thought we were way further away. From Iron Forge, that's not the case. The harbor is like really close to it. We have a hand in quest right there. The old colleague. How much can we do in leather working? Not much, dude. Not much at all. We can make 10 of these boots, though. Go potentially to 225, so... It ain't that bad.
So we quickly just gonna hand in this one. Another quest we don't need. to me. <laughs> you need nitromerglyceronium to stop goblins from destroying a forest. I don't care if you know Gaxim or not. I'll give you the stuff just to see you or them explode into itty bitty pieces. There's a problem though. I'm all out. But I'll tell you what, you bring me the correct potions and I'll make some up for you right away. The least you can do is prove you've got some skill as an alchemist before I just give you a sample of my greatest creation. Greetings. No bronze tube here. Thanks, buddy. You too. Okay, so... Train your class. I think this might be our poison quest now, coming up. Train your class. Oh yeah, we have a Viserate level 4. Greetings! I got something for you, adventurer. Looks important. Detect traps. Dude, it's so expensive. Off and away. Interesting paint. Ah, a copy of the powers below. An interesting text this is, and some might find it useful. But this one's in sad shape. And look here, there are notes in the margin of almost every page. Hmm, I know this copy. I sold it to Bolgar last year. Are you a friend of his? Yes, I thought you were. You have that same fire behind your eyes. Well, by definition, a friend of Bolgar's is a friend of mine. And we take care of our own, yes? Here we do. Okay, we're gonna go to Stormwind now. I think we'll train also our leatherworking in Stormwind. Since I know exactly where it is. I mean, I, I, I somewhat know. I think it's there. In Iron Forge, I'm not too sure. But it's somewhere. Oh, run, 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 run. Run. No, dude. Fun game, bro. Hi, how are you? All right, so then, guys, we're going to actually end this episode over here. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. It really does help a lot. Subscribe if you are new. And I'll catch you beautiful people in the very next video. Take care. Bye-bye.